Good morning, Grace family. Welcome back to Thoughts from the Psalms. We've got a little bit of a different psalm, a different video today. We're reading Psalm 136, which is a psalm that really sort of reminds us, by the way that it's written, what the book of Psalms is. It's the Old Testament hymnal. It's a book of songs of praise for use in worship. Psalm 136 very clearly is sort of set up to be used in worship, and you can see exactly how that would be done. You've got half of each verse seems that it would be written to be spoken by a minister, the priest, a Levite, someone like that, a choir leader. And then there's the second half of each verse, which is always the same repetitively. His love endures forever, this chorus, which would probably have been spoken back or sung back by the congregation, by a choir, to the leader, the soloist. So my invitation to you this morning, I'm going to read the whole psalm as usual, but grab your Bible today. What we'll do is read the psalm out loud together. I'll read the first half of each verse, and I invite you to read along with me that part that goes, His love endures forever. So let's read Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever, who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever, who made the great lights, his love endures forever, the sun to govern the day, his love endures forever, the moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever, to him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his love endures forever, And brought Israel out from among them, his love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, his love endures forever. And brought Israel through the midst of it, his love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, his love endures forever. To him who led his people through the desert, his love endures forever. Who struck down great kings, his love endures forever. And killed mighty kings, his love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, his love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, his love endures forever. And gave their land as an inheritance, his love endures forever. An inheritance to his servant Israel, his love endures forever. To the one who remembered us in our low estate, His love endures forever, and freed us from our enemies. His love endures forever, and who gives food to every creature. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. Let's pray Psalm 136. Lord God, you have loved us since before the world even existed. Your love is forever. It always has been and always will be. When life causes us to doubt that promise, point us to Jesus' cross where he proved your love to us. Point us to his empty tomb where you proved that we will enjoy that love forever. Use our mouths to sing your praise every day. Amen. God bless you with good health and hope in Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow.